Welcome in this section about ADB, the Android Debug Bridge, which is part of the Android Platform Tools, part of the SDK. ADB is an executable which is available for all operating systems. It exists of a client, a server and a daemon. The client and the server are both installed on the host machine and the daemon is running on the Android device. So via the client, you can enter a command like ADB, name of the command, in your terminal. The daemon will execute the command and the server will take care of the communication between the client and the daemon. Some of the most common used commands are ADB devices to list all connected devices, ADB connect to connect to a device, it can be based on the name or based on IP address, ADB install can be used to install a package, so an application on the device, by using the name of the APK file for example, ADB logcut can be used to view the system logs of a device. ADB shell can be used to get an interactive shell on the device, but also ADB shell and the name of the executable, for example, will also execute it directly on the device and will return the output in the terminal. ADB push can be used to upload a file to the device. ADB pull can be used to download a file from the device. So those are just a few examples. As you can see in this screenshot, this is how the output looks like. So ADB devices give you a list of the devices attached. ADB logcut gives you the system log. So for example, if you're testing an application and something goes wrong, then you might be able to see stack traces via ADB logcat which is very useful of course. And more details are available in the official documentation about ADB. So for your reference, it might be useful to look into this. I want to highlight one thing. If you are testing with a physical device or not with a Corellium device, then you also need to enable USB debugging on your device before you can use ADB. But for this training, we don't need it. So let's continue with the installation of ADB. You can install the full Android Studio and then you get the ADB executable, but you can also install it as a separate package. So if you're using Linux, you can install it via apt-get. If you're using Mac, you can install it via brew. And also you can download the executables from the Android website. For example, for Windows, you can just download the folder with the files, the executables. And then you can add that folder to your system variable part, and then it will also be available in your terminal. Let's take a look at the ADB installation on a Linux server, or Linux environment at least. So I have this Linux virtual machine, and I want to install ADB. First thing I do is sudo apt get update to make sure I have the latest packages available. And next, apt get install Android tools ADB which will install ADB. With ADB help, you get a lot of information how to use ADB. And as you can see, ADB devices also shows that I have one remote device connected. So in short, this is how you can set up ADB. And we will cover the other details how to use it later.